What's up guys, Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. The topic today is this game becoming pay to win. That's the hot topic on Reddit. A post earlier today got on fire over a hundred comments as I'm recording this. Let's see. Now that's the post. Is this the beginning of something? Are we starting to see some pay to win elements in Call of Duty Mobile? Now of course the picture is the regular AK-47 and the red action, the epic reward from the battle pass. You see the stats are the same, but you see the perk that is highlighted. The red action got increased range. So players that have money and bought the battle pass, they got this AK-47. And the guys that didn't pay money, they got the other AK-47. So the money guys, they got a bit of an edge because they got extra range. Now, once again, I can't believe we're here today talking about this again, because this topic's been covered in the past. This game's been in soft launch. We've seen that before and also the beta last summer in India and Australia. I mean, it's not the first time we see that AK, right? But I mean, it's been discussed and I think people will disagree, I, no matter what. I really think that it's never gonna end and we'll still be talking about this in a month, probably in three months and five months. So here are the two sides, okay? You cannot deny, like these guys, I understand. They say, you pay, you have an edge. And that is kind of true, right? Like you pay, you got extra range. But the other side is if you suck at the game, if you're bad and you take your wallet and you spend $600 and get tons of skins and you get that, are you all of a sudden going to start dominating the battlefield just because you bought a skin? I mean, personally, I played this game enough and I know that like if you suck, you're still gonna suck with the skins, right? I mean, you cannot buy skills and that is a fact. You can put thousands and thousands and one million dollar, you're still gonna suck. Even if you have all the cool skins and all the little extra perks. And I mean, a lot of these perks is like, um, you get extra speed when you respawn. So, I mean, if you respawn, it's cause you died, right? So you are already not doing so good and sprinting after respawning, I mean, I think a lot of guys here probably they didn't play a lot of mobile games because if you if you played enough games you really see the true meaning of pay to win and honestly pay to win is when you take your money and you buy power and you buy uh, a, a real advantage and to me this is not a real advantage now of course if you guys have a lot of free time you should go and read the comments but first comment on top is Trust me, this is nothing compared to what's about to happen to this game. And then, like, what? Yeah, tell me, like, what's your source? Because, like, people are like, what do you mean? And some guys say, if history is a guide, there will be major changes in the future, and it's going to become overwhelmingly pay to win. Again, no source. And uh, people compared to PUBG. I mean, come on, dudes. Is this seem like it's Tencent? PUBG has been over like two years and it's not pay to win. I mean, I don't play PUBG Mobile. You guys play PUBG Mobile. Tell me in the comments. I think PUBG Mobile is still buy skins, right? You cannot buy skills. You cannot buy power. I mean, I'm not going to go over all the comments, but you guys know my opinion already. I've seen other games and I've seen pay to win. And really pay to win is like you cannot do something unless you buy something that others don't have. And it's the only way to achieve it is by buying. And then because you bought, you will beat the players that didn't buy. Honestly, this example here, I don't see it as pay to win. And I totally understand the guys that say, well, it is an edge, yes or no? Yeah, okay, it's a small edge, I guess. But I mean, is the AK-47 the best weapon in the game to start with? I mean, the top players in the world I think they could beat anyone with the AK-47 without the extra range, right? But they don't use the AK, most of them. I mean, leave me a comment, maybe I'm wrong. And once again, I could go back to the Activision VP of Mobile Chris Plummer interview. I did mention that in one of my videos earlier, and they did talk about pay to win. It's not a topic that I covered in my past video, but he was asked about the pay aspect and monetization. And here's the answer. As a free-to-play mobile game, the word on everyone's mind is microtransaction. 
how will this play in the quest to unlock new cosmetic items or perks and score streak? The answer is our intention is to allow our players to have an even playing field when they play Call of Duty Mobile. There is a ton of free content and rewards you'll earn simply by playing the game and you'll earn in-game currency called credits through playtime that you can use to acquire items. So yeah, you can buy skins in the shop with credits. Credits are free, you earn them with login rewards and stuff like that. You can get in crates, you can get when you get duplicates. Second part, Call of Duty Mobile also features a premium battle pass, which works similarly uh, in how they wanna play and progress through the game. We also keep a close eye on fairness and ensure that investing more in your experience can make it more personally rewarding without negatively impacting other players. So of course they have to give something in exchange uh, of money, okay? They need to make money somewhere. I know there's millions and millions of players, but some guys somewhere, they have to buy something because of the millions of players that don't wanna put a penny in the game, the other guys need to pay and they need to sell something. They need to give a, like a bit of value because without value, they wouldn't make money at all. And the game is here to make money. I, this is the only objective to create the game in the first place. It's not to entertain you. It's, it's a company, they need to make money, right? So they wanna keep it fair and that's the main point. And to me, I think it's fair, guys, for real. Like, if you're good, you're gonna be good. If you're bad, you're gonna be bad. And you cannot, like, buy skins and all of a sudden you're good. Like, it, does, it doesn't work like that. And I truly believe this game has nothing to do with pay-to-win games that I've seen in the past. For real. You have to go out and play other games, guys, before you call this pay-to-win. I mean, I, right now I'm 100%, 100% satisfied. Of course, I can say that because I did buy the Battle Pass, but... I mean, you guys talk now, like you leave me a comment below. Tell me what you have to say. I will read all the comments. But like I said, you can quote me on that in a month, in two months, in three months, the topic will come back. Is this game pay to win? So I'll read your comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe to the channel if it's not already done for more Call of Duty Mobile content. I will be back soon. Take care. Down. Ah. 